let's just be clear. What you're about to see here is completely normal. Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and I am going to be attempting to pull a semi-truck with a, a mega truck, the biggest truck in the game, and uh, I am very much so looking forward to it. Now, do I have any idea how this is gonna turn out? No. Have I done any test runs like this at all? No. But, am I excited for how it's gonna turn out? Yes. So, with that being said, we are on the volcano map, and the reason why I picked a default map for this is because I wanted to see how it would tow in a sort of, like, normal environment, and this map also has some good hills, so you can kind of take it around to a couple of, like, different environments, if you will. Um, in the future, I might try this on some crazier maps, and some test maps. Now, the... The setup here is very interesting. So we've got the truck on pull, which means that truck will not drive under its own power at all. And we have the monstrosity hooked to the back on what would kind of sort of be a hitch if it was there. So with any, without any further ado, let's go ahead and take off and see what actually happens when we... Oh! Well, it definitely acts like it doesn't weigh anything. Um... So, about that truck. Yeah, it, oh, oh, oh. I was trying to get it into high. I, I wanted to get it into high really, really, really bad, but it was kind of sketch. So here, let's do this. This will probably make the trailer disconnect, but you know what? We're going to run it anyway. Oh, the trailer detached. Okay, well, that was only going to last for so long. No, come on! Go! Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. It's gonna pick up the speed. Oh, it wasn't gonna do it! Oh my god, it was close to doing it, too. Dude, it was so close to doing it. That thing has no idea what it's in for. Although, since we've lost our trailer, let's go ahead and re-add another pulley boy to the back of the truck. Alright, real quick. Garage. Install. Thank you! Now, back into the monstrosity. And yet again, hooking up to the man. And then, I just need to make sure it's switched to pull, and we are good to go. Y'all know what I'm about to try to do. Y'all know what I'm about to try to do. I'm about to try to go up that volcano. Trailer hasn't been detached yet. It's really what it is, is it's the speed that detaches them. So, I'm just going to be careful I don't yank the truck, which... I mean, you kind of need to be careful of that anyway, but, well, you know what? Instead of going up there, I'm going to head... Well, you know what? I can do both. I can, I can go up there, and I can go up the waterfall. So we're going to go up there first. All right. Got to be careful not to yank the truck too much. It works! It works! Ah, it's a slow go, but it's still working. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. It's, like, almost completely out of fuel. The trailer's still there. We're using 112 100 to 113 liters a minute of fuel to do this. But it's still got a trailer. Oh my god, it's still got a trailer. That's amazing. And normally would not be a thing. Alright, now back down the hill. I'm going to switch it to drive for this. Because that way it'll apply the brakes. I would kind of rather it not let go of its trailer. Yeah, you could hear it back there applying the brakes. Okay, now switch it back to pull. Because now I'm going to try to pull it up the waterfall. Definitely one of the most ambitious things I've tried in Mud Runner so far. I'm actually really impressed that the trailer stayed on for what I just did. 
All right. Let's go. No more messing about. Let's go. <laughs> it's happening. Oh, my God. It's happening. Dude, it's freaking happening. What? What even is this? Um... Is that as far as we go? It might be. <laughs> it might be. Okay, it's just making sure that it's on pull. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and modify my approach a little bit. Easy. Oh geez. You can really feel it trying to weigh on the truck. God, those axles are really, like, struggling, man. This thing would be... I, th there would be so much breakage going on if this was real life. God, the amount of breakage there would be. Like, it wouldn't be just breakage. It would be vehicular carnage. We go up there? Or will this even remotely help us in what we're trying to do? Probably not, as you can plainly see. Well, uh, well, actually, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute now. If I go around this side, well, uh, I don't know about that. Oh my god, yo, it's like, it's really struggling. It's really struggling. Oh! Oh, it got in its groove. It got in its groove. Um, you gonna get off that tree, bud? Bud, you gonna get off that tree? Huh? Oh, Yep, that was the, um, the, the maximum amount of angle it could take for that. Which makes sense. I mean, it's not like... It's not like this thing can, you know, can stay up there for, like, forever, but... It always sucks when your truck gets flipped over. Now, whether or not it can actually be pulled back onto its wheels is another thing that remains to be seen. Another thing that remains to be seen. And I'm like... Eh, oh... Oh! Alright, release! Don't you dare. Don't you dare! Alright, are we hooked? Switch to pull! Uh-oh. It's off the ground. And I think we might be... Yeah, we're actually legit pulling the truck off the ground now. But we've also gotten further with it than we ever have before. But I don't think that's why. Ooh, that non-collision axle life. New question. Can we go up a, a cliff that doesn't have water on it? Uh, no. It doesn't appear that we can. Yeah. It does not appear that we can, bro. Not even one bit. Come on, dude. Oh, it's so close, man. It is so there, but it... It can barely do it. It can barely do it. We have maxed this thing out in terms of capability, I think. Now time to see if we can turn it around. Oh, it's going to be bad. Oh, it's going to be bad. I'm going to release it. Oh, I have an even better slash worse slash better idea. Hope y'all are thinking what I'm thinking, because if you are, then you're just as crazy as I am. Oh, what? Okay. Wow. All right. That was not even remotely what I was hoping for.
Oh, that's like an anchor back there. <laughs> it's literally like a freaking anchor back there. Ah! Oh, it's... It's just like being flailed all over the place. My question is, will it get stuck on anything? Like, will it stop us? I don't think it will. I don't... Well, I do think we've gotten stuck. I don't know if that's because of the trailer or... No, it's because of the trailer. Not because of the fact that we've gotten our axle wedged between two trees. That's definitely not why. Okay, yeah, no, the trailer is actually legit wedged. Oh, maybe not. Um. So that's a thing. <laughs> so that's a thing. Uh, so in case you were thinking about taking the monstrosity to the volcano map and towing a man 8x8 with a fuel trailer and trying to tow it around and seeing what would happen... Don't bother, because I've saved you the trouble. And, uh, it doesn't turn out all that well. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more. Leave those suggestions down there in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to y'all later.